to prepare a mixture, a compound, using iron fillings and sulfur powder and distinguish between these on the basis of appearance, that is, homogeneity and heterogeneity, behavior towards a magnet, behavior towards carbon disulfide solvent, effect of heat. A compound is a pure substance which is formed when two or more elements combine chemically in a fixed ratio by mass such that it can be broken into elements only by chemical means. When two or more substances, elements, compounds or both mixed together in any proportion do not undergo any chemical change but retain their individual properties, the resulting mass is called mixture. On the basis of physical state and components, mixture can be classified as homogeneous or heterogeneous. There is no exchange of energy while preparing a mixture. Madam, how can we identify whether mixture is prepared or compound is prepared. Let's do an experiment to know how mixture and compounds are prepared. Our aim here is to prepare a mixture, a compound using iron fillings and sulfur powder and distinguish between these on the basis of appearance, that is, homogeneity and heterogeneity, behavior towards a magnet, Behavior towards carbon disulfide solvent, effect of heat. The materials required are a hard glass test tube, test tube holder, pestle and mortar, two watch glasses, hand lens, a magnet, iron fillings, sulfur powder and carbon disulfide. Procedure Preparation of mixture of iron and sulfur Take few iron fillings and some sulfur and put them in a pestle and grind the constituents thoroughly. The product so obtained is a mixture of iron and sulfur. Divide this mixture into two halves and place them in watch glass A and watch glass B. Preparation of compound of iron and sulfur. Iron sulfide. Transfer half of the mixture from watch glass B to a hard glass test tube. Hold the test tube with the test tube holder. Heat the mixture strongly by using a Bunsen burner or spirit lamp till the mixture starts glowing with a reddish glow. Then stop heating it. It is observed that the test tube will continue to glow for some time. This is because Iron reacts with sulfur to form a compound called iron sulfide which releases heat energy. Now transfer the block mass of compound immediately in the watch glass B. Observations Appearance Homogeneous or heterogeneous nature Sample A Experiment Check the appearance of sample A with naked eye Observation Heterogeneous Inference Sample A is a mixture. Sample B Experiment Check the appearance of sample B with naked eye. Observation Homogeneous Inference Sample B is a compound. Effect of moving a magnet through the sample A and sample B. Sample A Experiment Move a magnet through the sample A. Observation Iron fillings cling to the magnet. Inference Sample A is a mixture as its components retain their properties. Sample B Experiment Move a magnet through the sample B. Observation No component gets attracted towards the magnet. Inference Sample B is a compound. Effect of shaking the sample A and sample B with carbon disulfide solvent. Sample A. Experiment. Shake a pinch of the sample A with carbon disulfide. 
observation, a part of the sample dissolves in carbon disulfide. Inference Sample A is a mixture in which sulfur dissolves in carbon disulfide. Sample B Experiment Shake a pinch of the sample B with carbon disulfide. Observation No part of the sample dissolves. Inference Sample B is a compound. Effect of heat on sample A and sample B. Sample A Experiment Heat sample A in test tube. Observation The mixture starts glowing and a chemical reaction takes place. Inference Components of a mixture may react under certain conditions and form a compound on heating. Sample B Experiment Heat sample B in a test tube. Observation No reactions take place. Inference No effect of heat on the compound formed. Result Sample A is a mixture of iron and sulfur, while sample B is a compound iron sulfide. Precautions The mixture should be heated strongly and with great care. Carbon disulfide is highly volatile and its vapors are combustible. Thus, it should be handled with great care. To make sure that no iron remains unreacted during the chemical reaction, take an excess of sulfur. Excess sulfur will burn during the reaction. Use minimum amount of the mixture or its compound. The chemicals should be handled carefully and hands must be washed properly after completion of the experiment. Thank you, ma'am. This experiment has made the concept very easy to understand.